Hey guys, it's Fiona from Even Tide Reads. I'm in the same clothes yet again because I'm filming in a book lot because that's what I do. Today we are here to review The Glory by Lauren St. John. I read this last year and I meant to review it then when I first read it and never got around to it but it's just coming out now. Um, it's already into shops early and I just want to tell you how much I love this book. So this book is about a horse race which a few years ago I would have been like oh no maybe that's not for me but you know what? I was actually really interested in all the details of the horse race, even though I know nothing about horse racing. I've never really cared for horses. The horses become characters in their own right in Lawrence and John's story, and especially in this because of the connections that they make with the characters. The characters themselves are also just awesome. Like, I seriously think they are some amazing characters. They're not the general sort of stereotypes you see in YA. Um, the girl, she's very fierce, but she's very human at the same time. She has emotions, she has problems, but she's gonna deal with them and she's gonna do the best she can. And it's just, it's things like that that just make the character seem so real, even though the situation is, in a sense, it's absolutely mad. There's, uh, you know, this girl, she's been sent, I would say this girl, it's been ages since I read it and I can't remember her name. Alex has had a feud with her family and they sent her to this crazy camp in America, like, you know, thousands of miles away and she decides that she can't cope with that she's not having that she wants to go back to the horses she loves so she escapes and she thinks if she wins the glory this absolutely massive race then she can prove that she's not a she's not someone who messes up all the time but it becomes more than that it becomes a survival story it becomes an adventure story it becomes a romance it becomes um learning life lessons. It's just a wonderfully told story. It intertwines so many things and I think everyone should read it. It's just, it's really easy to read. I flew through it. I just, I absolutely love Lawrence and John's horse books and I'm not even a fan of horses. Like, not really interested in them. I'm a little bit now because I've read a couple of horse books and I'm actually like, horses, horses are kind of cool. But um, before that I would have been like, mm, horse book. But seriously, I, I cannot say enough good words about this book. Um, it is just, it's amazing. And the hardback that's just come out, it's like black and purple with like purple edging. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So pretty. I might have to buy one. Which I know I shouldn't really, because I'm trying to go back on a book buying ban. So I'm trying to stop buying books, but it's so pretty and it won't add to my TBR technically. I just, I really love this book. This book has come into stores already, it's available. I think you all should check it out, have a read, see what you think and let me know. Have you read any of the Lawrence and John books? Have you read the One Dollar Horse series? That's what got me into Lawrence and John. I think they're amazing. So yes, I highly recommend Lawrence and John to anybody, even if you're a a teen or an adult reading her middle grade stuff, I think she's awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video today and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!